So playing Hogwarts Legacy, as you're probably doing watching this video, you're probably having the same issues I had with the game in regards to controls, response time, it looking a bit grainy, fady, all these issues. Well guys, today I bring you a fix, and today guys, I bring you the settings I believe this game is best played on for those consoles. Okay, so... Within Hogwarts Legacy, as you start the game, you're probably going to pick up that controller, you're probably going to move about a bit, and you're going to notice there's a bit of a delay. Uh, the things just don't seem right. It looks a bit grainy, this, that, and the other. Well, today, I have a fix for you. I mean, I've been using this now for, well, I was running around in the first area for literally 20 minutes trying to fix this, to fix in the issue before going to the main game. And I'm literally more or less still at the start, but I've been on the game for probably over an hour. Uh, trying to figure out my problem and that is there's just so many settings that you need to just change uh, to get it to just suit the way uh, the game needs to be to feel good so first up we have well this is probably one that's going to be just completely down to the player the performance mode do you want fidelity or performance or uh, fidelity with ray tracing me personally i am playing on the xbox series x um but I think performance is definitely the way forward here uh, because fidelity, yes, it will look 4K, but my, oh my, it is stuttery. Playing on 30 frames per second, you'll see here, just, it's just, to me, in my eyes, I'm used, used to uh, 60 frames a second. I mean, I could I could get used to this. I definitely could, but to me, right now, going into this game, it's, it, it just hurts my eyes. So right now, I am going with uh, performance. I don't care about 1080. I need those 60 frames. I need those 60 frames, people. I really do. Simple as that. Hopefully, in the future, they can probably pull out a patch where you get uh, 60 frames, 4K or close to 4K. But right now, performance, in my opinion, is definitely what you want to be doing. Now, in regards to the other settings I'm using here, turn motion blur off, turn depth of field off, and turn film grain off. I mean, you can play about these settings yourself. It's completely up to you. But for me, to make the game look even more prettier, because uh, you ain't playing in 4K mode, you want to make it look as, as clear as possible. Turn this crap off. Okay, so now we want to go down to uh, gameplay settings or gameplay options, sorry. And the camera sensitivity. Now, camera sensitivity, when you first start it, and like I said, you'll pick up the controller. When you're turning left and right, this seems like there's a slight delay there. I got rid of that for me. And this is, I've played with these for quite a while, guys, and this is exactly how I've done it. Now, I'm not sure what settings here uh, did what, but I know what I have now makes it feel a lot more responsive. So try this, guys. Go with this. Probably change it slightly in your favor. That's completely up to you. But camera sensitivity, I've gone for a 1.53. Um, aiming sensitivity I didn't touch camera acceleration at 1.3 don't go too far up here guys because then it just it's like it's too fast you press right in the d-pad to move the camera and it goes too far so yeah um, 1.3 seems about right for me the aim and acceleration I haven't changed yet uh, I don't think I will change it seems from what I've used so far it seems pretty cool and the camera follow speed you'll want a 1.23 just try these settings out people um, that's exactly what I've done here. I turned off vibration as well. I can't stand vibration. Um, but what you see here, guys, just try these and, and just hopefully it, it's it's good enough for you. Because for me, uh, playing it on default, it is just it just doesn't feel right. Uh, but yes, people, I just thought I'd make a quick video showcasing to you guys my settings, what I feel are best for uh, console. This isn't for PC. PC is going to have way more settings, way more options to change. Uh, but yes, on console, Xbox Series X and the PS5. Right here, right now, in my opinion, this is definitely the way forward. Uh, but yes, if you have anything to add to this to make it feel even better, please do let me know. Um, I'd appreciate that. And please let everybody else know down below in that comment section. Uh, but this is Hogwarts Legacy, guys. Real early days yet. Uh, but if you guys do want to stay up to date with the latest guides on this game, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And do drop a like on this video. It really helps out. And also, guys, check out and join my Discord link below. Uh, join all us wizards and witches over there talk about the game uh, share secrets this that and the other uh, yeah and I'll, hopefully i'll see you there but yes my discord is linked below but guys thanks as always for stopping by i hope the video helps you out and hopefully guys i'll see you on that next one